Greetings, travelers and mortals. I am the Pale King, or the White Rim, the Pale Rim, and many other things. Sorry. Or Ryrm. Wyrm? Again, I do not know how to spell. How that is spelled. May someone please tell me in the comments how you would spell W-Y-R-M? Like, how would you pronounce it? Now, today I bring you, I welcome you to a tale of legends, a tale of warriors, a tale of myth, magic, gods, devils, war, tragedy, death. Mystery, sorrow, and love, romance, violence, adventure, and action. This tale is the tale of Chiratina, other known as Izuku Midoriya. Izuku Midoriya aka Giratina, was the most and was one of the legendary four god Pokemon gods. Well, more like the devil. <laughs> but let us begin. We begin at the very beginning of all things. It's as we see a blank void. As we see a woman dressed like this floating around in this void. As she, as she then decides, hides that she will create three children, three beings, each with legendary powers, over a singular aspect of reality. She create. So first, she created the two, t her two daughters, Palkia. The goddess of space, and the ruler and god of space, and Ialga, the god, the ruler and god of time. However, she then created her most violent creation yet. Giratina, a being so vastly powerful, a being so vastly powerful and violent that the, at once he started on his on a rampage, there'd be almost nothing that could stop him. <clears throat> she gave Izuku the prospect of. She gave Izuku. The prospect of reality, dimensions, antimatter, and antimatter. <laughs> Izuku who laid down, and then, and Izuku would lay down his very life for her, At first, or he would promise. That if anything would ever happen, happen to his mother, he could never forgive himself. Izuku would then, would then begin, would then sign an oath to his mother, stating that he would do absolutely anything for her. He would, after all. He was her fi he was her greatest creation, favorite, and her favorite and and most powerful creation. He was extremely powerful as well, a divine being with inf and with well high intellect, strength, speed, stamina, and defense. Virtually unstoppable. 
aside from his three, three family members. He could not be beaten. Until one day, Deku, until one day, a mortal, mortal decided I did to show blasphemy towards Deku's mother by calling her an evil wretch that, that is an, an evil wretch who no, who they should not believe in because uh, she is, because while many think she is a god, odd, he, she was a demon, she was an unholy evil creature. This hurt Deku in more ways than imaginable. As he then had his, as he then created a black, black sort of tendrils from his back. At the end of these tendrils was black spikes. He then made them wrap around his arm, like this. As he'd then say, how dare, how dare you show blasphemy towards my mother? As he would then, and stab the mortal, killing him. And as he'd then rip out the mortal's heart, killing him instantly. As he, in a fit of blind rage, Deku would begin run, running rampant and destroying, destroying everything in his sights. As we go to his mother, other and siblings, who, who are, who have heard of what is happening, and who have heard what Deku has done, but not what caused it. As the divine goddess Arceus would then say, as much as it pains me to do this, I'm afraid your brother has gotten too out of hand. I do not know what caused it, but he is running rampant and killing mortals, breaking worlds, and also breaking worlds. I need to... S how he needs to be stopped. But I do... But I cannot bring myself to harm him. As his sister said, neither can we. We bring ourselves to harm him. The goddess then thunk for quite a while, as she then thought, I know. I know. <clears throat> I'll force him to... I will merely age... Create a... Dialga, I need you to do something for me. As Dialga would then say, of course, mother, what? As she'd then say, I need you to create a time anchor. I need you, you to create a time field around Deku and around Giratina to where, to the point where it will age him infinitely that way. And he will die of that way. Hey, he will, after infinite amount of years, and that way his body will be able to weaken so much that I'll be able, that we will be able to, well, may force his soul to leave his corporeal body. Then we will force him to reincarnate. How's that? The two sisters would then look at their mother and would say, as much as we would say we don't like that idea, we are afraid it's the only thing that can stop him. <clears throat> as Dialga would begin manipulating time, creating a, a chamber around Dick, around Giratina. As we go to Giratina, who is destroying yet another world, as he then screams, This is what you mortals get for showing blasphemy towards my mother! As suddenly, Deku's body f stops, as he then says, Huh? What? What? As he feels his body begin weakening. The very chains which keep his soul within his corporeal body breaking. 
As in says, what's happening? As then his soul is pushed out of his mort of his corporeal body. Revealing this. And revealing something looking like this. As he then says, what, what have you done to me? Why am I out of my corporeal body? As then... Deku is teleported right in front of his mother and sisters. As in it says, Mother? Sisters? Why am I out? I shouldn't be out. I'm able to get out. You, you know, I'm supposed to be in my corporeal body. As his mother then says, Jaratina, by, by the order of... By the order of I, Arceus, and your two siblings, and by the order of Arceus and Arceus, Paya, Palkia, and Dialga, we hereby banish you. We hereby banish you. You to reincarnation. As Gaia, as Giratina would then say, What? But, 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 mother, you don't understand. I was merely defending your name. But before he could even, but before he could, and that was what he was going to say, but before he could even speak, he would be pushed into a infant, and he would feel, feel his spirit be pushed away, or launched away f a infinitely from his home realm. As, as Dialga would then create a vortex, a portal, sending him hurling through, through time. And for an infinite amount of years, De and for an infinite, uncountable amount of time, Deku's soul, I'm Giratina's soul, all was lost within a vortex of endless time. Until one day, his soul was released. East, over, over a decillion years later. A decillion is one followed by a hundred zeros, just so you know. Which means that was a very long amount of time. He was stuck within, okay, it was a decillion years outside, but inside of the time vortex, it was an infinite amount of time, meaning quite literally uncountable, like one followed by literally infinite zeros, <laughs> or just an infinite amount of nines. <laughs> Yeah, as we go to Deku, and we go to, to Musutafu, Japan, as we see Inko Midoriya giving birth, as she then says, and as the doctor then says, all right, almost there, Miss Midoriya. As she then, as the doctor then says, push and push. As a couple minutes later, a beautiful white hair, what, um, gray and gold haired child, child would be, would be hold and would be held within Inko's arms. <clears throat> As she would then say, what a strange little boy. Well, he's my strange little boy. <laughs> As <clears throat> Deku would then open his eyes. Of course, he would have lost all memories, not knowing he was ever a non-human creature. <laughs> As he then say, and as 
he would look at his mother and hold her hand. And, and as she would then tickle him with her pointer finger, as he'd then look at her without crying and grab it. As she would then say, Aww. As she would then take him home. We skipped four years later. As Deku would show his mother a unimaginably unim large amount of affection and undying loyalty. <clears throat> if she wanted something done, he would do no questions asked. The two were heading to the two were heading to a quirk doctor and were heading to the quirk doctor to see if Deku had a quirk. As the doctor, as when they got there, the doctor would then say, Hmm, well, well, you look at that. And Miss Midoriya, it appears your son has a very powerful quirk. We do not know what it does, however. We can assume it has something to do with re We can assume it so has something to do with warping or manipulating Eating rea reality. <clears throat> Along with those things on his back. As the doctor would then point to five very tiny red head spikes poking and penetrating out of Deku's back. As Deku, as almost as if, if the doctor had initiated something. The six red spikes would protrude even farther out of Deku's back, appearing to be long black hack tendrils with red spikes at the end. <clears throat> As the doctor would then say, huh, fascinating. This ap these appear to be reminiscent and to be similar. Similar to the Kagune from Tokyo Ghoul. Yes, anime exists in this world. I'm making it real. I'm making that happen. <clears throat> As the doctor would then say, Hmm, well, I can guess that these are like ex six extra limbs for your son. I can guess he can protrude them in and out of his flesh at any time he wants, and maybe morph them. I'm around. And she would then say, Wow, isn't that great, Izuku? You have an awesome, powerful quirk. As Deku would then say, Hey, for you, mother, I'm going to be the number one hero. That way you'll be that way you'll be able to pay all your bills. Bills on time. And because I'll be paying your money, and I'll be able to protect you. As she would then smile and say, isn't that sweet? As Deku would then leave the hospital, all with his mother. The two would be, the two would be walking, would be walking from the hospital to the parking garage where they left the car. As Deku would then bump into a lady with blue and with blue hair. Hair wearing a trench coat along with a fedora. Not suspicious at all. If you all know who this lady is, put in the comments, not suspicious at all. With the eyeball, with the eyeball emojis, like not suspicious at all, like a emoji saying, "Yeah, right." <laughs> As Deku would then say, "Oh, I'm sorry, Miss. I did not see you. Are you there?" I should then say, "Oh, it's quite all right, boy." Say, what is your name? Name, little one? As he'd then say, oh, I'm Azuku Midoriya. 
proud son of Inko Midoriya. <laughs> as she would then, as the lady would then say, Aw, isn't that nice? <laughs> as she'd then say, Well, I gotta go. See you. Um, it was nice meeting you, Izuku. As he didn't say, nice meeting you, you too, strange lady. As Izuku would then and continue his path to the car. As we go to the mysterious woman. As we see her walking into her car. I'm As we see her walking down an alleyway. As she then begins, as she then begins drawing something in the air. He appears to be some sort of symbol. <clears throat> As suddenly, he, someone appears, another lady appears behind her, walking from another part of the alley. As she then says, As, why'd you call? I thought you were doing... I thought you were doing recon on the mortals. As she then says, yes, but a interesting development has happened. As the lady with pink hair would then say, I mean, as the lady would then say, how come? As she'd say, Giratina has been reincarnated in this era, and I just bumped into him. He's adorable. As the woman would then say, "You're serious? Then you then you were right to, right to contact me. Let us go." As she, as the the second lady would then be would then open her palm and twist and would then open her palm, facing towards towards nothing. As suddenly a purple portal, I and mean, as suddenly a pink line would open and would appear in the sky or in thin air. I should then turn her fist to the left, as the line would then open up like a portal. As the two would then walk in. Hold on. As suddenly the trench coats and fedoras on the two ladies would then morph into armor. <clears throat> As in the first lady would then say, Mother, there's a very interesting development that has happened. As then the other lady would then say, Yes, Mother. As then and the woman known as Arceus would then say, really? What? As the two would then say at the same time, Giratina has been reincarnated on Earth, on Earth 492. On Earth 492. Who be? In the, um... <coughs> in the metropolitan area. In the metropolitan era. Or... The <clears throat> millennial era, <sighs> or well, no, that's not right. The quirk era. I believe it's the um ninth generation. As she would then say, really, Giratina's been reincarnated. That's excellent. What age was he? As Diago would then say, Giratina re was at the age of four. He was with his reincarnated mother. It appears he's also very loyal to her. As then we see a tick mark along with a vein pop on the left side of Arceus. As she then says, as she then sighs and says, very well, watch him from a distance. 
Don't let him see you until I'd say. Got it? As they'd say. Yes, Ar yes, Mother Arceus. As the two girls would then leave. As we go to her, as we go to Arceus's thoughts, as she would then say, and as suddenly va veins would pop up all over her body, and millions of tick marks as well, as she would then screech in her mind, What? What an aggravating, what an aggravating, and weak mortal, what a, why is my Darling, Arling, perfect creation. Creation being so loyal towards a mortal. Hmm? A weak, frail, ill, useless mortal. One who can easily be, easily be related. One who can easily be replaced. Gah! As she would then say, I guess that was it was bound to happen. After all, I I am his mother, and af and he was extraordinarily loyal to me. And after I reincarnated him, that loyalty towards towards his mother figure must have also oh transferred with him. Gah, what an annoyance! Don't worry, don't worry. Once the time comes, I will collect my darling, um, my darling creation. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. She would say, she would then say, a whilst petting a alternate, a, a clone of her for another universe. This clone of her is the, is a cat version of her, as she then say. Now, now, just to wait, as we go back to Deku. As we see, as he would rush over to the park, as we see a couple of kids there. Most importantly, we see Bakugo there as he then says huh huh hey izuku hey izuku you get your quirk yet as then says yes and it's a powerful one they said they don't know what it's called but i i can and it has multiple aspects of it but i can also do this as suddenly the six black tendrils would pop out of and the six Kagune like tendrils would pop out of Deku's back as he'd then say hey also this as He would then morph the six tendrils into two wings as he'd then say isn't it awesome Tachan? As Bakugo would then say hey, Your quirk Izuku that's not a quirk for a hero. That's a quirk for a villain. You're a villain. You're an evildoer. A villain. A madman. Next all for one. He would say. As Izuku wouldn't say. What? Well, but. Gotcha. It's still me. It's just. I got a quirk now. As he then say. I don't care. You're a monster! A monster! As Deku would then run home crying. As Walbakugo was walking home. As Walbakugo was walking home. He would notice the sky was a bit brighter than normal. Make that ten times brighter than the sun. As suddenly pure, purely golden and white bolts of energy are being launched from the heavens toward, towards Bakugo. 
as he's running for his dear life. As we go to... As we go to the heavens. Or Arceus's palace. As she then says, Yeah, you best run, you stupid mortal. What a arrogant, insolent fool. As she then says, He's lucky I don't make him non-exist. He's lucky I don't erase him from existence. <clears throat> As she then say, Calm down, calm down. He's still, he'll, Giratina still considers him a friend. Uh, it appears with humanity also comes naive, naivety. No matter, just breathe in and breathe out. There, all better. As we go back to Deku, who was home crying. As he then says, Mom, am I a freak? Am I a monster? Am I a villain? As Inko would then say, Of course not, honey. Bakugo was just a bit fright, and Katsuki was just a bit frightened by uh, your powerful quirk. I think it's amazing, Izuku. As he then smile and say, Thanks, Mom. As we skip ip a couple of weeks. These past couple of weeks would be the best deck and would be some of the best a deck would ever have in his life. He would be spending time with his mother. As it would have been a vacation for the Midoriya household. As Enko would have struck in big. Well, I mean by that, Enko would have been, would have been gardening as, and Enko would have been gardening as, well, while mow, while lawn mowing, a shovel would have, a shovel which was laying on the ground, would have been flipped over, as it would then and fly up very high and crash down on the ground, revealing as she then begin, and as she then rush over and grab the shovel out, revealing that underneath the ground was actual gold. Twenty-four carats. I'm more, much more than 24 carats. Maybe a million. So, hold on. I'm. You won't take both C chargers. I'm recording you, idiot. I don't give a crap. You won't take both C chargers. Sorry about that. My brother, Jaden, was looking for a, a. Uh, C charger for his phone, and I couldn't pause the recording in time. But, anyways, let's continue. <clears throat> As Deku's mother would have struck him big, <coughs> and the two would have been on a all expenses paid vacation to Hawaii. However, as we go to the I'm to Arceus's palace, I should then say finally they're gone from that wret they're gone from that wretched mortal home. Ugh. Now I can finally work my magic on that stupid mortal woman in Comodoria. Now what do you now, what do I mean by this? Well, Japan was many years ago. 
Japan and owed I mean, Japan and did a great service for one of the legendary gods. The goddess or the legendary god Otis <coughs> Dialga or pa sorry, the legendary goddess Palkia. She created an indestructible force, and she created an indestructible magic-proof barrier, which only she could remove. As a, as a, as a thanks for their service. Therefore, Arceus could not use her bill and could not use her abilities on the mortals. Mortals there. However, however, she could manipulate the weather. Other still. However, mere lightning bolts would not have been in any, and would have not been able to kill Inko. As, well... If she couldn't kill a four-year-old with her lightning bolts, she can't kill a adult. Just simple. However, since she was in off of the grounds of Japan, she could finally work her magic. As she then say, now just a little touch of this. As she would then spawn in her hands, hands, us, a bottle. As it would then say, Arceus's hot, m hot, m hot damn mama sauce. I mean, it would say, Mama Arceus hot damn sauce. As she would then just say, one little drop there. As she would then put one on a on a nearby volcano, on the closest volcano to Inko and Izuku. As she then say, and kaboom. As suddenly, suddenly we go to, to the, as we go to the volcano. As the volcano, as the singular tiny, almost atom-sized drop of hot sauce would touch the lava, as lava would then boil from orange to blue, as it would then leak out of the volcano, as blue and red as a tsunami of blue lava along with ash and rock would have erupted from the volcano. As the law, as she'd then say, and as we go to Arceus, who'd then say, much better. Now, to make things a bit more fun, as she'd then say, sicker. As suddenly the blue lava would turn into, and would then materialize into blue living blood, into bloodhounds made of blue lava and rock. As they then run after her Inko, as she then say, Hey, finally, you shall be an interloper no longer. As she would then, as she would then watch in happiness, while evilly grinning, as she would see the hounds, hounds very very brutally, along with very gorily, and gore ory, rip and go to shreds, and feast off of her remains. I cannot, I am not going to describe what happened to Inko, but I'm just gonna say, the only part remaining of her was half of her, of her charred, fr of her charred skull, and. A fourth of her ribcage, age, and spinal column. Yeah. Ouch. 
as the hounds would then turn back into lava, as the lava would then and go back into the volcano. How? One, one word, Dialga, the goddess and ruler of time, who would have seen what her mother was doing, doing, but no, but not wanting to hurt Deku, she would have reversed time around everything but Inko. <clears throat> As Arceus would then say, finally, now it's finally time. As she would then say, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but eh, desperate, desperate situations call for extremely desperate measures. As she would then begin morphing into a form close to that of Inko Midoriya. Hold on. As she would then morph into a form of Inko. <clears throat> as she then say, perfect. As much as I hate to use this degrading form, it'll help me get closer to my son. I'm Tijiratina. <clears throat> As she then say, now time to play the act of the mortal. As she then say, first, gotta get rid of these. As she then snap her fingers as Enko's charred remains would then and vanish in from existence. Pretty much like Thanos snapped. As she'd say, much better. Much better. Now, to play the act of the mortal, of the dumb mortal mother. As Izu would be walking towards his mother, he'd say, Mom, are you alright? There was a volcano, and, 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 as she'd then say, Oh, I'm fine, honey. <laughs> the volcano land, the lava landed a bit a ways over there. Okay. As he then said, Hugh, well, would you like to, um, go to the beach with me? As he, as she then say, sure, Izuku, sure. As we skip ten whole years, as we skip eleven whole years, Izuku is now fifteen. As he is in middle school. As the dog. As the teacher would then say, all right, I was going to hand you your quirk aptitude tests. But I know y'all want to be heroes. So, here, so, <clears throat> here you go. Oh, your film, your forms for UA. Let's see, Bakugo Kotsky wants to go to UA. Very nice, very nice indeed. And let's see here. Oh, a la mode. Izuku Midoriya wants to go to UA. As Bakugo would then say, What? The monster wants to go to UA? Gah. Listen here, shitty monster. I mean, you're not going, you best not go to UA, or I'll, or I'll, I'll, I'll. As then a voice would echo through the classroom, saying, You'll what? As we see another her student, one with, one with purely white hair. As she'd then say, You'll what, Katsuki? I'm you'll what, Bakugo? I'm you'll what, Katsuki? Hmm? You'll have a temper tantrum like the rabid dog you are. Hmm. Let's see, you don't really scare me. After all, I can literally do this. I should then snap her fingers as de as Bakugo's mouth would then and literally become non existent as he'd then say, mm, 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 mm. As she'd then say, 
There you go, mutt. Now, I should then snap her fingers back and Bakugo's mouth would appear back. I should say, sit. Hold on. As Izuku, as the teacher would then say, Hey, Miss, Miss Miramoto, please, please refrain from using your quirk in class. You know the rules. I should then say, sorry, teach. I'm sorry, Miss, sorry, sensei. I should then, as the class would then continue, as we skip to the end of the day, as we see Deku and... As we see Deku walking from home, walking to home. As we see the girl in class, with the last name Miramoto following him. As she then and jumps down to an alleyway, as she then begins morphing again, once more, into the form of Inko Midoriya. As she then says, all right. Let's see, played the role of the protective student, now the pl to play the role of the doting mother. Well, I guess it isn't really a role if I'm already a doting mother. <laughs> As she'd then teleport to death, I'm to the house. As Zuku would then say, hey mom. As she didn't say, as... Arceus, in the form of Inko, would then say, Ha, ah, hello, Izuku. I'm, hello, Izuku. Ha, how are you? And how was your day? As he then said, good, good. Bakugo being a, being a little bitch like normal. But, all good, all good. And see, I just, she would then say, Ah, good, good. Oh, well, um... Don't you have, like, that, uh, hero's exam coming up next? I'm coming up soon? And she didn't say, oh, yeah. I best get at the training. <laughs> As Izuku would then. And leave the house to rush off and train. As Inko. As Inko would then morph back into Arceus, I should say. Ugh. All this form changing is get, making me a bit nauseous. Oh well, just a couple, just one, just a couple more months. Gotta wait till he's 16 after all. <laughs> Ugh, gonna hate that. But still, much better than, much better than, well, showing him Right now, after all, he hasn't even begun to re- and he hasn't even begun to use his power to its fullest extent. He only uses reality to warp his clothes and the shape of things, thinking they're dr thinking that's a drawback, when reality he has no drawbacks. He just needs to figure that out, out first. <laughs> As suddenly there would be a knock on the door. As she'd say, Oh, they must be. Oh, they must be here. As she'd then snap her fingers. As the entire house, apartment would then morph into a gold and white temple. Temple like palace. As she'd then say, Hey, come in, come in. Revealing her two daughters. Palkia and Dialga. As the two would then say, Good morning, mother. I should then say, Good morning, my babies. So, so, how is, so, how is your pretending to be normal and pretending to be mortal lives going? And she then, as they then say, good, good. 
and they said they didn't say good. <clears throat> Edison Dialga would then say, how is every day with Giratina? As she'd then say, hmm? Oh, we don't, he doesn't and like to be called that. He goes by Izuku now. A little strange, yes, but I've grown used to it. As she'd say. As they'd then say, hmm, okay. But still, how is every day with him? As she then says, ah, uh, it's great. Bit annoying, I can't show him who I truly am. But, meh. It's alright. As she then say, oh well. Well, I'll see you all. You all on his sixth. I'll see you two on his sixteenth birthday. Now go out and pretend to be mortals. As the two would then leave. As we skip ten months, it is the UA entrance exams. As Yuzuku is standing right there. And as Yuzuku is at the entrance exams. Now I'm not doing the written portion because it's boring. As Izuku is at the, the gate, starting gate, as as President Mike then says, "All right, beginning the countdown in," but before he could even say three, Izuku would dash, dash through and begin, and killing robots. <clears throat> Answering collecting points, as they then say, he's cheating! As President Mike would then say, uh, 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 there is no real countdown in, a f in an actual fight. Now go, 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 go! As they would then all, all follow Izuku's example and begin destroying the crap out of robots. Iz Izuku would have already massed around, amassed around two. 132 points. As then a giant robot would walk out of nowhere, revealing itself to be the zero pointer. As Izuku would then say, You look fun. Alright. Now let's see. <laughs> Time. I'm to. Now, let's see. As he would then... And say... Ah, yes. Form... Formation... Formation Alpha... B formation... Alpha Beast. As he would then... And as Izuku would then morph into this form. As he would then say... And as Izuku would then begin flying around at the beast and attacking it. And at the giant robot and attacking it. As he then say, hmm, what an annoyance. Oh well. Formation 2. Omega Beast. As he then morph in this form. As he would then begin launching lasers along with large tendrils. As he then say, now let's end this. Reality warp. As he would then morph the entire. As he would. As suddenly the robot would then begin to dematerialize itself. As it would then turn into bubbles. Bubbles and pop away. As he'd say, ha. Victory. As he would then, as he would then walk out of the entrance exam, um, area. As he, as we go to the people watching him. As, and as he would then say, hmm, Izuku Jirit, Izuku Midoriya, a very, 
Let's see. His cork is called... Hmm. Reality Warp. It appears he can change his form into... Th he can change his form basically into whatever he likes, along with more reality and warp it any time he wants in any way. However, that is not all the end of his quirk, as there is much more, or that we have still not identified. Hmm. He's powerful. Aizawa, what are your thoughts? As he didn't say, I'm Shoto, what are your thoughts? Shoto, what are your thoughts? As Azawa would then say, he's powerful, yes, strong, smart, and he's powerful, strong, and has a good quirk. Hmm. If he, if he had a license, I'd already say he's a pro hero better than All Might. As he then say, I want him in my class. As he didn't say, excellent. As is, we skip to Izuku walking home. As he then says, Mom, I'm home. As we see his mother walk out of nowhere. As she then says, in, still in the Inko form, as she then says, Ah, Izuku, how'd you do? As she then says, I guess he then say, I got two, I got two thirty something, and I got two something. I got in the two hundreds, and I think the teachers liked my show of power. I dematerial, I warped reality and made a entire sorry there's a baby crying in the background i warped reality and made an entire giant robot turn into bubbles as she then say hmm nice how big was this robot as she then say around the size of a city city block or an entire building maybe as she then say very good izuku your powers are coming are getting stronger, little by little. <laughs> As there would be a knock on the door, she'd then say, Huh? I wonder who that could be. As she'd then think to herself, It couldn't be. It couldn't be those two, as they are already. As they are supposed to come within a couple of months. No matter. And within, like, two more months. No matter. As she would then begin, as she would then walk to the door and say, Who is it? As we see Ochako or Raka at the door, as she then say, Well, no. We see a random girl at the door, as she would then say, Um, hi, is this the Midoriya residence? As she would then, as she would then say, Yes, it is. As the random girl would then say, Ah, I am here for the uh, tutoring session. And she'd then say, Tutoring? With a puzzled look on her face. As Zuku would then say, Ah, um, I tutor kids, kids for free. And I tutor students for free. Helping them with their homework and studies as she then says ah very nice as Arceus would then think hmm now to see what now to see what she's really thinking as she would then begin and reading the girl's mind as she would then have a face of disgust on as she then ha have a look of disgust on her face as she then say as she then think what a me! What a perverted girl! Wanted to do that to my son? <laughs> if anyone's doing those things to him, it's me, and it's going to be me, he and my daughters, and only us. 
and she didn't say, well, have a, have fun at your tutoring session, session, honey. As she would then say, I'll wait till the, till my son, and goes home and goes to bed. As we skip to when Deku is at home and it is asleep. As she then says, perfect. As she would then teleport out of the, the house and towards the student's house. As she would then summon a a blade in her, a katana in her hand, as she would then say, You know, you have broken one of the men, one of the most important rules in existence, written by me. Do you know who I am, little girl? I should then say, No, I do not. As Arceus would then say, I am the Divine Mother herself, the creator of creators, the god of gods, the most powerful being ever existent. Ah, I am the Great Mother Arceus. Arceus. Weird. It's quiet. Too quiet. I shouldn't say, and you are dead. As, fa as faster than the speed of light, which the speed of light is quite literally the universal speed limit, so pretty much going at speeds are breaking mm, Rio, un the universe. She hopped, she then sliced the girl into tiny pieces. And she then said, hmm, I know what, I know what's for dinner. As when she got home, she would wake up Izuku and would say, Honey, um, I got takeout. And she then say, ah, oh, great mom, what's it this time? And she then say, it's your favorite, mystery sushi. As you'd say, ah, oh, awesome. As she would then give Izuku the mysterious looking sushi rolls. As she'd then, as she'd then think to herself, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get, you stupid interloper. He's mine and my daughter's, and only ours. And that's why I'm ending this part. Hard off. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you didn't, didn't comment why and what I can do to change this. Change it to your liking. Um. Please comment, like, share, hit those notifications, and... For the, and the reason why I was not on for quite a while is, well, we moved once more, but we're in a more country-like area with very weak internet. So, yeah, these vid I won't exactly be able to make videos all the time, or at least upload them. And plus, I start school on Monday. So, yeah... Um, yeah, but, um, I hope you all have enjoyed this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and hit those notifications, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye, and, oh gods, goodbye, and skadoosh.